And then Satoko got mad and pushed him off a bridge. Anyway, emergency manual one. If the existence of a terminal patient, L5, is confirmed, the Institute Director must resolve the situation before the L5 begins engaging in antisocial behavior. However, they must ensure that the secret remain, remains hidden. To that end, the Director may also request assistance from the, secre from the Secrecy Preservation Unit. As for the Secrecy Preservation Unit, they may request permission to fire from the Institute Director if necessary. All efforts should be made to secure the L5 subject is alive, but if that proves obstructive to maintaining secrecy, their life may be forfeit. At all times, maintaining secrecy and preventing exposure will be of the highest priority. However, preserving secrecy will take priority over preventing exposure. Emergency Manual Appendix 9 FAC can Emergency Manual 34 be administered if outbreak of L5 occurs, putting matters beyond the control of the Secrecy Preservation Unit? Additionally, is the Institute Director responsible for determining what constitutes an out-of-control situation? Yes. If an accident occurs in a hazardous material, the H170 series is exposed to the public. Can Emergency Manual 34 be administered? Yes. This is less question and answer and more like the answers to all of the following are yes. If an accident has occurred in the nature of the Institute is revealed to the public, the Secrecy Preservation Unit will take steps to resolve the situation. However, if this information is spread too widely, can Emergency Manual 34 still be administered? Additionally, is the Institute Director responsible for making that decision? Yes. The decision to execute Emergency Manual 34 must be carefully deliberated over and sanctioned by an official. However, in the case of an emergency, does the Institute Director have the right to make the final decision? The execution of Emergency Manual 34 must be sanctioned by an official at all times. However, the Institute Director may petition the urgency of its use to an official. Emergency Manual 34 Reproduction or removal of this document is prohibited. This manual may only be read with the appropriate permissions. This manual will only apply upon approval by the highest authority. Nothing short of official authorization shall count as approval. Furthermore, those authorized to apply this manual must make their decision as soon as possible when it is required. No spooky music. If the situation threatens to spiral out of control, and the official accedes that this is the case, the Erie Institute must make the final decision to preserve the secret and prevent its detection by others. The following is an outline of how to execute that final resolution. Terminate all patients above L2. Destroy all evidence inside the Institute. Conceal the fact that this manual was administered. The contents of this manual must be executed by the Institute Director within 48 hours of the incident. If the Director is not available, the Chief Officer must execute it in his place. The Institute Director may demand support from the Chief Officer in executing this manual. If this manual is expected to be executed, the Chief Officer may issue the preliminary orders. The final resolution must be executed in the following steps. Disguise the incident as a natural gas disaster and quarantine the area. The quarantine unit must disguise themselves as police officers and isolate the Hinamizawa region from the outside world. The official explanation must be that there is a gas disaster within the village. The equipment for the operation will be stored at a vacant lot where Gagochi Quarry used to be. The equipment must undergo, must undergo routine maintenance. In the event of external breach or external escape, internal escape, they do not respond to the notice of the gas disaster or orders to evacuate. Use the fire use of firearms is authorized. The approval to use firearms is given by the chief of the secrecy preservation unit to the chief of the tactical blockade unit. Shutting down communications. The communication sabotage unit must ensure that all forms of communication, including radio, have been disabled in the Hinamizawa area. They must take care not to fall under suspicion 
and communications must be disrupted for a minimum amount of time. The facility belonging to the telephone company is inside of the traffic blockade, so any civilians inside may be shot and killed. The chief of the secrecy preservation unit may give permission to use lethal force to the chief of the communication sabotage units. Assembling the infected carriers. The secrecy preservation unit must assemble the infected populace in the Hinamizawa Regional Disaster Shelter. Refer to the enclosed documents for gathering procedures. Upon assembly, the unit must count the number of infected and confirm that everyone is present. Be sure not to allow the infected to expose the true nature of the gas disaster. Additionally, the infected must not be allowed to bring any large personal belongings with them. However, they may take their valuables, including bank books and cash. Infected who refuse to assemble may be shot, but the chief of the secrecy preservation unit must carefully consider the decision to do so. <clears throat> terminating the infected. Once they are assembled, the secrecy preservation unit must terminate all of the infected. Before that point, care must be taken to ensure that they are not suspicious of the story of the gas disaster. Be sure that they are treated as humanely as possible. If any problems occurred, the unit has approval to fire, to fire their weapons. The Chief of Secrecy Preservation Unit must also make that decision. Bodies with gunshot wounds should not be placed together with those that have been poisoned. Concealment of the Institute The Institute Concealment Unit must collect all the classified items, refer to the 193 items in the appendix, in the Institute in order to suppress the evidence. Refer to the appendix for more detailed instructions. The research staff of the Institute must assist with this operation. This unit must exercise extreme caution as they will be handling a number of toxic substances. Strict quarantine must be maintained on the concealment block. The air, the air proof door must be welded shut and the underground area must be flooded. The entrance to the area must be welded shut and concealed completely. Furthermore, the concealment block will be completely removed within three years. The Institute Concealment Unit must eliminate all civilians who would try to approach the Institute. The use of firearms is not permitted, except in emergencies. The Chief of the, Secre the Secrecy Preservation Unit may give the order to fire. Searching the Village the Secrecy Preservation Unit must search the whole village for any survivors. Any person who is not present during the assembly must be found. Any survivors found after the termination of the infected may be shot immediately. However, if the survivor is willing to surrender, do not shoot and instead take them into the custody of the Secrecy Preservation Unit. The unit must then terminate the captive using the same method as for the other infected. Post okay, so obviously this is all talking about the whole, you know, gas thing. When KT woke up after the whole thing and he got found by people, they took him into the car. I forget what happened after that, but I'm assuming he got, you know, killed after this. Um, he didn't get shot immediately, but he did, you know, go with them into the car. And they gave him a gas mask or something like that. Probably poisoned him. You know, whatever. And then, of course, this is referring to the years later as well, where they finally, you know, were able to let people go into the quarantine area. Post-mission transfer to General Forces. Transfer the job to the official disaster recovery team. Make sure not to arouse suspicion. Complete withdraw. After the completion of all operations, the Secrecy Protection Unit will retreat from the Hinamizawa area. We must be careful not to be suspected by the Disaster Recovery Team. Furthermore, the Institute will continue to secure the concealment block until complete removal is finished. The Queen and her Carriers It is assumed that the pathogen has the same characteristics as creatures such as ants. There is a Queen of the Carriers of the Disease, just like there is a queen ant, and this position has been passed down the line of the Ferude family. 
This assumption is made based on the legends and ancient writings that have been passed down in the village. It is already confirmed that the carriers have a tendency to protect their queen. Additionally, the queen carrier can only survive within the boundaries of the village. Probability of outbreak. As ordinary patients will become ill when they travel far away from the queen, is it, it is assumed that the further and longer they're away from her, the higher the chance of symptoms occurring becomes. Also, mental state plays a strong factor as well, and it's estimated that those who are especially emotionally unstable or show strong yearnings for their homes are more likely to exhibit symptoms. It is believed that the Takano relaxation method is the most effective means of suppressing symptoms, but if the patient still no shows no improvement, only returning them to their home and the queen will be effective. Concerning terminal patients. Terminal patients, as they suffer from an extreme persecution complex, are incapable of functioning within society. Cases of arson and murder have been confirmed. They may present severe problems for their units. Records show that terminal patients appear even in Hinu Mizawa, and they will not recover even if relocated nearer the Queen. Therefore, the decision to dispose of the problem must be made as soon as possible. It's recommended that the infected be quarantined before they start behaving irregularly. We should we suggest tracking down those formerly from Hinamizawa and placing them under special medical observation. The collapse of the carrier community. For the aforementioned reasons, we predict that we that should the queen, queen carrier die, the infected villagers will exhibit it, exhibit terminal symptoms on a village-wide scale. Terminal symptoms will begin showing within 24 hours at the earliest, and 48 at the latest. For that reason, the final decision must be made within 48 hours. Based on the size of the village, neither ordinary officers nor the military police may be able to control the chaos they may bring. We believe the best response is to treat them as an armed anti-national uprising, and immediately suppress them with the military. January 1945 to Colonel Kozumi of the Supreme Council for the Direction of War from Hifumi to Kano June 23rd 1983 document E420 for the 58th Defense Commissioner and TECOM 733 Commander TECOM 733 is hereby ordered to be on standby within 24 hours, armed for urban suppression. The company commander must also thoroughly study Emergency Manual 34. Select personnel carefully with the preservation of secrecy in mind. Additionally, test the effectiveness of the vaccine with the support of the National Research Center of Infectious Diseases. Employ those with positive immunity. June 23rd, 1983. Document E711 for the 58th Director of the NIHS. Attention, Equipment Testing Company Commander 733. There's a lot of document reading. The National Research Center of Infectious Diseases. Infectious Pathogen Department Suite 13. Official seal omitted. Spooky music again. About the Hinamizawa syndrome. It is information. This is information regarding the Hinamizawa syndrome. The Hinamizawa syndrome is an infectious disease caused by a virus. There are no initial symptoms. Instead, their onset begins when the patient's emotional state becomes unstable, or if the queen carrier dies. The main symptoms of the illness are hallucinations and emotional instability paired with an extreme persecution complex. Furthermore, patients are frequently unaware of their own mental abnormalities, making identification, identification outside examination nearly impossible. The only way to do so is by observing symptoms indicative of terminal abnormal behavior. In many cases, Patients engage in antisocial behavior, which is the largest issue created by the syndrome. 
This behavior is caused by hormonal factors. Is this disease mainly affects the mind as opposed to the body? In the end, the patient will experience extreme irritation in their lymph nodes and will claw at their throats or wrists. This is the only symptom that is recognized by the patient. Important points regarding the sterilization operation. This is an advert advisory note for virus control. The pathogen is an airborne infectious virus. Therefore, no effective preventative methods exist. An inoculation is required. After the mission is completed, all staff members must take a medical exam, and those with positive test results must come forward. Be cautious when inter interacting with the carriers, villagers. Even after inoculation, any contact with their bodily fluids will cause infection. Do not come into direct contact with them. If assumed infected, Individuals must use the testing syringe and test themselves for the disease. If you feel an extreme irritation in your lymph nodes, it's likely you have terminal symptoms. In that case, you must get tested immediately. If test results come out positive, inject the treatment medication C120. If the irritation persists after 10 minutes, use a second injection. If there's still no change in symptoms, Seek treatment at HQ. Do not use C120 if your test results are not positive. If used on a healthy body, symptoms of high fever, rashes, dilated pupils, and hallucination will be observable within 10 minutes. If this occurs, one must treat, seek treatment at HQ. Government officials explain the entire situation in a luxurious meeting room adorned with a marble table and crystal ashtrays. The chief cabinet secretary was in a panic. He'd never heard about any of this before. Feelings of panic were only natural. One girl's death was going to drive 2,000 villagers into a frenzy. Hearing that a disease like this exists was surprising enough. But on top of that, it was secretly researched for military use. And now there was a horrific situation caused by the director of the local research institute engaging in embezzlement. そんな危険な病気初めて聞いたよ。本当に治療の手段はないのか。はい。国立研究所の説明では重度感染者の発症に対する治療法は確立したばかりで、全住民への対応は事実上不可能とのことです。最短で24時間以内、長くとも 48時間以内に酸素の人口2000人が全て末期発症するとのことです。人大な被害と影響が予想されます。The danger of this Hinami's always syndrome was explained over and over again to the chief secretary. He didn't have anything more to say. But that didn't mean that he could blindly accept it either. He simply couldn't believe that the only way to resolve the situation was to kill all 2,000 infected villagers. こんな危険な研究は今や日本の国益に貢献しないどころかそこらに関連ぞどうして昭和の58年までこんな馬鹿げた研究をしていたんだ報告書によれば研究目的のために撲滅を意図的に遅らせていたそうじゃないかしかも
滅菌作戦を承認しない場合のシミュレートを聞かせてくださいはい今から36時間後には村人のほぼ10割が末期発症末期的な被害妄想に取りつかれ反社会的な行為を行います想定されるのは自殺殺人放火強盗その他異常行動治安の完全なる崩壊です騒動はおそらく雛見沢地区のみでなく周辺地区へも波及します結果世界規模での注目を浴びることになるでしょう民間の独自調査の結果奇病が原因であることが発覚するのは食い止められません野党は奇病の対応の不手際を清掃の具に次期選挙を有利に運ぶでしょうまた東京内でも総理の対応に批判が高まるでしょう Think about the election, sir. 彼らの指示は総理の劣等改造に欠かせませんそして何よりも軍事目的での研究が政府内部から暴かれる可能性がありますこれだけは断固阻止しなくては我が国に致命的信用ダメージを与えかねません逆に滅菌作戦を承認した場合はどうなりますか、はい、自然災害を装いますのでやはり対応の不手際の野党追及は避けられませんただし奇病研究について発覚することはないでしょうもし万が一奇病の軍事的研究が世界に発覚したら我が国はアジア地域でのイニシアチブを完全に喪失します他国の援助を受ける政党は一大キャンペーンを張るな売国止めそうなれば野党の政権奪取は必至だよ日本は宣戦布告なくして占領されるぞシミュレートの結果では第2党第3党が連立した場合与野党の勢力は完全に反転します国際世論は我が国を一斉に非難国連に対し NBC 兵器開発疑惑の査察を要求するでしょう近隣国は政府主導でバッシングキャンペーンを展開高支持率を背景に対日外交を強硬路線に転換します我が国は政治的衝動と化すでしょう国際信用はペンペングサ一本残らんということかねくさつまり、ひなみざわ地区と周辺自治体の数十万人だけの問題ではすまんということだな。しかし、すべてを闇に葬るための犠牲が2000人とは多すぎる日本国内において、生物兵器研究が行われていたことが露呈することだけは、避けなければなりません。私はどうやら大戦の亡霊の尻を吹く羽目になりそうですね。滅菌作戦は計画通りに隠密で実行できるのかね。滅菌作戦が発覚すれば、奇病研究以上の大スキャンダルになるぞ。はい。ご安心ください。それにつきましては、自衛隊内の機密保持に特化した専門部隊が当たります。このような事態を想定し、研究と訓練を重ねた部隊です万一の失敗はありえません都市沈黙戦という言葉は初めて聞きましたがこれはガスによる虐殺のことですね自衛隊にガス船を習熟した部隊があったとは驚きましたガス防護を知るにはガス船を知らなければなりませんガス虐殺に備えるにはガス虐殺を知らねばなりません装備実験体は日本国が受ける可能性のある全ての攻撃に対し日夜研究を重ねています The Erie Institute was one such evil. 明かせぬ研究を葬るために明かせぬ方法を取るか
罪悪感の伴う任務だが、隊員から事実が漏れ出すことはないのかねありえません。隊員は第一空挺から精鋭を選抜し、さらに高い忠誠心を持つ者の,のみで構成しております。実戦はこれが初めてになりますが、練度は極めて高く、内部の機密保持も問題ありません。まさに暗殺の専門部隊ですね。総理、どうか、緊急マニュアル第34号の執行に、ご決裁をお願いいたします。防衛庁長官、この作戦は必ず成功しますか事件が大騒ぎになる前に食い止められますかいえ、犠牲者を最小限に抑えられますかはい、総理、すでに予備命令を発し、作戦準備に入っておりますご決裁がいただければ直ちに出動して作戦に入ります私には人口2000人を虐殺する命令など下せませんですが内閣総理大臣として犠牲者を最小に抑える義務もあります胸中をお察しします長官どうか犠牲者が一番少なくて済む方法を選択してください2000人がどうしても治療できないなら不必要な犠牲者が出ないよう迅速な対応をお願いいたしますはいご決裁を感謝いたします必ずや朗報をお持ちいたします2000人の犠牲が朗報と呼べるならですがね奥野君東京の皆さんに近日中にお会いできる席を設けてください。今回の件について、釈明を直接聞かせていただきたいと思います。わかりました。ところで、その問題の研究所長の入江氏は逮捕しましたかいえ、服毒自殺とのことです。研究の終了が、自身の人生を否定されたものと悲観しての発作的犯行と思われていますが、何が目的だったやら。彼を狂気に駆り立てた理由は永遠に闇の中ということですか。The execution of emergency manual 34 is approved June 23rd, 1983. 皆さん、輸送の都合で荷物を持つことはできません。Okay, so it's clear this is going to be a little while still. I know we're getting close. I know we are, but close still might be half an hour, 45 minutes away. I've been here for four hours. So I am going to stop here and、uh, pick up on this another day. This will probably take quite a long time to edit through as well. But anyway, I'll see you guys、uh, just in a bit, but it'll probably be a day or two for me before I can get back into it.